Alright, first we'll set up the pillow as close to the pole as possible, making sure to flatten it and floof it up. And then we'll take the yellow ice pack and we'll place it where her head would land, closer to the base of the pillow than the top. And then we'll take the back um, ice pack, we'll put it in the pillowcase, and we'll put it where her mid to upper left? upper back would be and we'll set that straight on the bed and we'll take the extra fabric and we'll flip it under itself making it so there's a little hole to put the remote through so that during the night it doesn't fall and Deb can easily find it. Next we'll take the slider sheet and it'll be folded in half the long way. I'll set it straight on the pillow. And then making a triangle with the bottom portion towards the feet. And then we'll take her foot pillow. And place it like normal. And then we'll take that. And she'll go on the bed just like normal, making sure she's high enough in the bed. Pointing her up. Bringing her down. And once she reaches contact with the bed and she's stable, I will then go to the other remote. And while I'm making her go down, I will make the bed go up. And you want to make sure the bed is at a comfortable spot for you. Making sure you don't hurt your back while we're setting the rest of it up. First thing we do like normal is take off the neck brace and unbuckle the belt. Next, we'll only take the bottom two leg straps undo the yarn bring leg straps through the feet and making sure to pull both gowns down at the same time making sure she's covered at all times We're going to go up and in with her elbows, making sure to support her elbows. Then we're going to do the leg straps and then my hand is going to go underneath her knee. We're going to look straight up down on the bed, making sure not to have pressure against the straps and her leg. Cause less irritation. Wrap these up like normal. Inside the legging. We're going to do that to both sides. Oh, push down on the straps towards the bed. Roll up leg straps and into the leggings. I'm just going to straighten the gown out quick. But since she's on the slider sheet, this will be a light tug. Right. And then take the leg straps and we'll take um, this little loop that we've made and we'll weave it through making sure it's all inside of the other strap. Lifting the elbow. And we're going to 
I hope that little loop into what is this called? The hook. <laughs> We're gonna do that to both sides. Oh, also making sure the leg straps aren't twisted. <laughs> and then if your um, elbow's in the way, you can just lightly lift it, taking the loop and putting it through the hooks. We're going to slide the neck brace out. Making sure not to put the neck brace on the wheelchair. And then we're going to take our left hand and put it on the base of the wing. So just, just below uh, where the leg straps connect. And then we'll take our right hand and we're going to go about where her shoulder, top of her shoulder is on the sling, and then we're going to give it a slight tug up. Yeah, towards the pole as a slight diagonal upwards. And then the other side. And then the fun part begins. <laughs> and there's a little pocket at the back of the sling where you can fit your fingers in. And then we're gonna lift up on the motor and tugs up and towards the wall, very slowly. And then first thing we'll do while it's still connected to the motor, clip the buckle, one leg strap, two leg strap, one arm strap, other arm strap, and into its home under the bed. <laughs> 